when you have no talent, you have to make up to talk about. <laughs> I, I just think some of these guys, they don't, uh, they don't have any talent. So when they go on radio or TV, you know you're going to get clicks when you're, like, bringing up Michael against LeBron. Let's talk about Charles Barkley. LeBron's had way more all-star help than Michael ever thought about okay, having. So- My eye test tells me that Michael's better. We're just sort of doing vacuum to vacuum, you know, just what do they look like? Because Le- LeBron has a huge deficiency in his game. He runs from the free throw line late in games. And the sports media embarrassment, Skip Bayless. I think the main thing is there are no consequences. Oh, yeah, you're right. There are zero consequences. Like, I always laugh when these guys pick, like, uh, you know, everybody know I hate Skip Bayless because I think he's the king of, I'm just going to say, so people will say, <laughs> they, they're going to go crazy on me. Johnny Manziel will become even bigger in the city of Cleveland than his buddy and business partner LeBron James ever was in the city of Cleveland. Can he right now at 52 years old beat right Le- here right now beat LeBron one on one? I mean and be on come on. You know Stephen A. Oh Smith? gosh, don't don't <laughs> don't do this. You know? <laughs> he just might be I able don't to. do don't do he this. just might be able to. What drives me crazy is like he'll miss nine out of ten games. And then he'll brag about the one upset he got right out of those 10 games. Like, I told you those, that team was going to upset. I was like, yo, man, you missed the other nine games. <laughs> but I hate guys. I hate guys who do that on television. Charles is giving it to you straight. LeBron James was made for the regular season. Michael's a hundred times better winner All than right. LeBron James. And the thing is, he isn't wrong. He nails the Skip Bayless analysis. However, if I get a disease and I'm going to die, how about I bring you get Skip Bayless in here and I kill him live on national television? The hatred runs deep. In an interview with Pat McAfee, Inside the NBA's Charles Barkley broke it down for you all how much of a fraud Skip Bayless is, and how he succeeded through trolling the psychoses of the sports fan. The only thing I want to do is put my foot up Skip's ass. <laughs> in June of this year, Barkley said if he ever got Skip Bayless in a room by himself, quote, he's going to need a full body cast. His disdain is because Bayless is just too inconsistent for Barkley's liking. I can't criticize some guys and then not criticize other guys. I think you lose all your credibility because that's the one thing I hate about a lot of sportscasters and one of the reasons I hate punk ass Skip Bayless because Cherry picks the guys he likes and the guys he don't like. Barkley explained, I'm Washington DC's 106.7 The Fan. The despising nature of their relationship goes as far back as 2005, when Barkley said, there's only two people I want to kill, Skip Bayless and Jay Mariotti. Everybody else, I respect their opinions. Skip Bayless is evil every single day, and Jay Mariotti is evil every single day. When Barkley eyed a run for governor of Alabama, his home state, Bayless wrote for ESPN's page two, let's say some un known but wealthy white guy with absolutely no experience in politics called the Birmingham News and announced he was running for governor of Alabama. Let's say he publicly admitted he has a gambling problem in that quote, I am not a role model. Let's say it was no secret he hasn't always been the best husband. And let's say he once threw somebody through a plate glass window in a bar. He is exactly as described above, except that he's African American and famous and infamous for playing basketball and making hilariously outrageous statements, especially as the clown prince of TNT's inside the NBA. Maybe it was this. Maybe it was Bayless printing the N-word in his column when quoting Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's book way back when Skip was a local writer. Maybe it was Bayless selling out to promote the worst kind of analysis in sports media. Barkley would add, if you have actually paid attention to him going back, you can't just tell he hates that guy or he loves that guy, and I don't think that's the way you should do your job, Barkley said, noting he'll always tell the truth. I can sleep good being fair. This rivalry between Barkley and Skip Bayless runs very, very deep.